Through camera inspection time up in North Scottsdale. I was here yesterday, but this little guard shack out there didn't want me to come in on a Sunday. No vendors allowed on Sunday. So we come back on Monday. Larry's doing the inspection in the bathroom right now. I'm gonna let him finish up and then I'll get that sewer camera started, but it's a pretty cool remodel. So this is like a 26 year old home, but it's been fully revamped lately. Tall ceilings, nice big fridge, nice fake TV. I like the finishes in here though. They did good, they did good. Love the bathrooms here. These sinks are awesome. Tile work, let's wait till I show you the master. Front room, gonna be doing the sewer camera inspection right there. That's where our clean outs are. Just right on the other side of this window. So we've got two of them right there. One of them is going to come under the house. The other one's going to go out. ABS pipes, 25 year old home. I'm not expecting much. It was a possibility, especially after remodel. They drop some paint down there, drop some parts, some tools. The only way to know is stick a camera down there. Look at this. Really cool. Give you some outlets down here on both sides. But there's nowhere to plug it in. Okay, it's all yours. I'm done playing with water for a while. All right, Larry. Is that an escutcheon? Is that what we need? Or is the escutcheon just the round part that goes around yeah, it? Yeah, it's hard to tell if it's this is a trim piece on this thing. You can't tell. But... No, it looks like a trim piece. Interesting. Get some cold water going down here. Beep. Yeah, let's get the sewer camera started. This should only take 15 minutes, maybe at the most. Grab our handy dandy orange wrench. This is the line that's going to go back into the house, and then this one's going to come back out. So we're just going to take these out. Try not to get rocks down into the sewer line as much as possible. Ah, it's a good idea to have these visible and sometimes they get buried, sometimes they get buried too much. And, you know, if these were up four or five, six inches a little bit farther, I'd be happier, I wouldn't have to deal with this, but it's all right, we can find them, we can open them up, get in there, not a problem. Don't even need the wrench on that one. Let's just go down this one first. Oh. Start our sewer camera, get the light fired up here, gonna get a visual, got an SD card in there so we got memory, and let's just get going. Sewer camera inspection at 1 East Bettany in Scottsdale, going down, clean out in the front, that should go underneath the home, bullhorn ABS clean outs, in front of the home. We're going to be pushing back into a little bit of water today. Got the primary bathtub running. It gives me a target. It gives me somewhere to go. So I'm going to go try and find where this water is entering in the plumbing system. Plus when you have water running you get a little bit of cleaning of your sewer camera at the same time so you're not pulling it out covered in caca.
drain connection there. We want to make sure that all those pipes line up properly. We're seeing about the same diameter around the edge all the way around. That's what we want to see. Another drain there. And this must be in the primary here. close to it anyway. 46 feet in. Pipes look great. There's the bathtub entrance into the plumbing system, the drain line. And that's probably going to be the end of the line. Now we go up north or straight up. This is going to go up to the roof. That's going to be your vent stack that allows air to travel back through the line so you're not gurgling and bubbling your toilets every time you flush it or run water down the drain. ABS pipes look good though. We're just going to pull this back slowly, look at the same stuff that we did on the way back through, make sure there's no breaks in the line, excess sludge, anything that might dry up on the side of the pipe and cause a clog. Make sure those connections are good. There's a little bit of debris in this section here on the on the top of the pipe, but nothing to be concerned about. We do have a tree in the front yard, but the big tree is located off to the side of where the main drain line would be going out, so I'm not too concerned about roots, although you never know. Now we're getting back to the clean out in the front of the house. We're going to pull this up and go up or go down the other clean out, which you can see right there. If I can get past this water on the roof of the pipe or the top of that pipe right there. You can see the other entrance. That's where we're gonna be going down next and going out the other way. It's got a nice little ramp for me to follow so it doesn't bind up on the cleaning or on the sewer camera or on any cleaning tools. These bullhorn cleanouts are a lot better than your standard T cleanout. So now we're gonna go from this one Sometimes you just gotta poke it in there. There, we've got a drop already. Well, that's a vertical. You can see the water's just bouncing around because it's falling straight down. And we get out to that green pipe. That green pipe is the city sewer line. It's only like a 15 foot run from the clean outs out to the city. The city should be responsible for this green pipe should anything happen to it. it looks fine right now. Even the run between the clean out and the city connection looks perfectly fine. A little bit of build up debris, but you're going to get that in any pipe that's been used before. It looks great. No concerns on this sewer camera inspection. I'm Home Inspector Dan. Um, filling in or doing the sewer camera inspection for Larry Stevens with BPG Inspections. If you have any questions or concerns about this, send me a message or get in touch with Larry. We're happy to help you at any time in the future. Thanks for using BPG Inspections. Have a good day.
I just need to go turn the water off to that bathtub. And we're good to go. Should be right here. That's it. Good to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next one.